Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shar, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the little things I do here in Beijing to be safe from the coronavirus. I am now in Songzhuang, a small town in Beijing where five people were actually confirmed to have the coronavirus. There are a lot of things that we don't know about the virus, but here's a few things that we are sure of. The coronavirus is from Wuhan. The virus is said to be from eating wild animals. The Chinese government has not yet confirmed from which wild animal it originated from. Wuhan is one of the cities in Hubei that is in lockdown. The virus is spread from person to person. Everyone can be infected, young and old. The virus is not as fatal as SARS. With limited information about the virus and how it spread, we can only do so much to protect ourselves from being infected. So here are a few things that I do here in Beijing to protect myself from coronavirus. Number one, wash your hands all the time. I recommend using Safeguard because it kills about 99.99% of germs and bacteria. I wash my hands before and after I touch my dog. I wash my hands before and after I touch raw meat. I wash my hands before I put on my mask and after I take them off. Okay, number two, exercise. Whether you are able to or not able to go out of your apartment, make sure to exercise a little to help boost our immune system. Exercising can give us a healthy body and a healthy mind. Number three, eat healthy. The Chinese government reported that the virus is found in a wet market in Wuhan and advised people to avoid going to wet markets if you can eat less meat. That means pork, seafood, beef, chicken, and more fruits and veggies. The fruits and vegetables will give us the nutrients and vitamins that we need to fight any kind of virus. Number four, wear the right mask. Wearing surgical mask or N95 mask before you go out not only protects you from being infected, but also protects other people from being infected by you. Like I said, there's a lot of things that we don't know about the virus. Is it airborne? Is it spread through coughing? Is it in the meat we eat? We don't know all these things yet. So better be sure than sorry. Number five, protect your eyes. If you have access to protective goggles, use them when you're outside. If you don't, just avoid rubbing your eyes before washing your hands. Number six, sanitize your house. Being clean is useless if you have a house full of germs and bacteria. I recommend using Lysol or Dental to sanitize your house. Lysol and Dental can be used to wipe your floors, clean your bathroom, your mirrors, your windows, everything. Sanitize your house. Number seven, stack up on your essentials. But do not hoard. Remember, you're not the only one who is affected by all of these. So let's just get what we need and leave some for the others. If everyone does this, we will all have sufficient amount of food until the vaccine arrives. Number eight, keep calm and don't spread unverified information. I know, I get it. There's a lot of things that we don't know about the virus, but it does not mean that we should panic. It is not as fatal as SARS. Let's not spread information that we're not sure of. This can lead to public panic, which then leads to panic buying, then eventually leads to food scarcity. Number nine, avoid crowded places. If you really need to go out during this time, wear the proper mask, bring hand sanitizer, avoid rubbing your eyes, or touching your nose. Number 10, 
if you have a fever, sore throat, and you are coughing, it's best to go to a doctor rather than staying at home. Do not risk it. Be sure that you don't have the virus, so you are safe. That's all. Those are 10 little things that you can do to keep you safe from the coronavirus. I am in Beijing now and I'm not intending to go back to Philippines in fear of me carrying the virus to the Philippines. It's not only protecting me, but also other people around me. And also, I believe and hope everything will return back to normal. It is true that it's getting harder and harder to buy surgical masks around me but there are still food at the supermarkets. Restaurants here are still closed. I don't know, maybe it's because it's still Chinese New Year or maybe it's because of the virus. And as you can see here, this is Songzhuang's way of barricading itself from the rest of Beijing. I don't know why they did this, but maybe it's a way to protect themselves as well, which is pretty alarming. But we can't do anything about it. So here's to hoping that everything will be okay. Keep safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Charmaine Paula for updates about me invading. That's all. See you. Bye.